EK Dio Hakim's convoy bombed. Four police officers killed by unknown gunmen in Imo State. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite Channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 2nd of January 2023 and there is a breaking news for every one of you listening to my voice right now from your location all over the world. It is a breaking news that has landed on our news desk and of course I will be reading in full details how Ikedio Hakim's convoy was attacked and bombed while police officers, four of them, were sent to judgment on the process. So let me read in full details how it all went down in Imo State. Breaking gunmen attack on Hakim's convoy kill four policemen. Gunmen on Monday attacked a convoy of a former governor of Imo State, Ike Dio Hakim, and killed four of his police orderlies in the process. O Hakim's convoy was attacked at Uriago in the Ehimem Bano local government area of the state on Monday evening. O Hakim, who escaped by whiskers, had his backup vehicle bombed leading to the death of the four policemen in his convoy. It was learned that Ohakim was with two of his children and was returning from a visit when the gunmen struck. A source close to the ex-governor disclosed to Punch that he took the bravery of the driver of the ex-governor for him to escape. The source said His Excellency was the main target, but his driver was smart enough to beat them because they were driving to block him. Disappointed that their main attack had escaped, they blocked his backup vehicle and burnt it. The four policemen with him burnt. Hmm. Wow. It was gathered that a reinforcement came from Oweri, the state capital and escorted him to his house you see so um right now i will be reading from punch let us see how punch news has reported it because i have already read from a different source but since they said that they also spoke to a punch newspaper let us go to punch and read how it has been reported by punch newspaper but before then let me say something here all this may recall that few months ago, the vehicle, or should I say, the convoy of one uh, senator, Ifa Nyoba, was also attacked in Anambra State. And the people who took the bullet were the policemen that were escorting him. So, how comes every time these evil politicians will escape and the so called uh, you know, escort, escort will be uh, you know, the brunt? I don't know how they not they always manage to escape why the foolish and coward officers will take the bullet for them and at the end of the day they will all be forgotten by these wicked and evil pol uh, politicians now according to punch news punch said breaking gunmen attack on hakim's convoy kill four policemen Fleeing gunmen on Monday attacked a convoy of a former governor of Imo State, E.K. Dio Hakim, and killed four of his police orderlies in the process. O Hakim's convoy was attacked at Oriago in the Ehimem Bano local government area of the state on Monday evening. O Hakim, who escaped by the whiskers, had his backup vehicle bombed, leading to the death of the four policemen in his convoy. Our correspondent gathered that O Hakim was with two of his children and was returning from a visit when the government struck. A source close to the ex-governor disclosed that it took the bravery of the driver of the ex-governor for him to escape. The source said His Excellency was the main target but his driver was smart enough to beat them because they were driving, they were driving to block him. Disappointed that their main target had escaped, they blocked his backup vehicle and burnt it. The four policemen with him burnt. Our correspondent gathered that a reinforcement came from Oweri, 
the state capital and escorted him to his house. Or Hakim, who spoke to our correspondent, was sober. <laughs> you know, he was sober. So what is going to be the next for the four policemen and their family members? So I have been saying this, especially those Biafrans, those Igbo Biafrans who always volunteer themselves because of the money that they are being paid by these wicked, evil politicians in the zoo. All of you will be a, will always bear the consequences of the actions of these very evil politicians. So the earlier you people will understand this, the better for all of you. Last time it happened in Anambra State where Ifa Nyoba was attacked and the police officers, you know, bore the consequences of the evil activities of these politicians in the zoo. And today we are now talking about Ikedion Hakim. How comes these people that are in uniform will not learn? These criminal police officers in the zoo should be allowed to go to work alone to work by themselves because in the in the in the foreign countries the politicians do not work with escort it's only in the zoo that after stealing from the public after siphoning and embezzling the public funds they will be going with escort they will hire no less than 10 police officers, mobile police officers to escort them even to go to supermarket nearby. They have to go with no less than 5 to 10 mobile police officers to escort them because they know that people are angry with them. People are not happy with them. People want them to be out of the way because they have stolen from the people. They have impoverished the people. They don't care about the citizens. That is the reason why after committing all manner of crimes in, you know, in the offices that they occupy, they don't even, they don't even go step an inch. They don't step an inch without es escort. But in the Western world, governors, politicians, you know, even the president work as a free people. No, no sarin, nothing, nothing. They go about their normal businesses without this escort and, you know, convoy. Because people love them. People are in love with them. People want them alive because they are working for the people. They are not working for their pockets. Only the salary that they earn is enough for them. But here in the zoo, the salary of the politicians, even as huge as it is, yet is not enough for them. They have to steal from the people. They have to rob the people, they have to siphon the public funds and starve the people, impoverish the people. That is the reason why criminality has become the order of the day. Yes, because every single thing here in the zoo is being paid for. There is no water, there is no electricity, there is no good road, there is no school, there is no uh, 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 you know, hospital, nothing works in the zoo. It's all about them, them. Money that comes for, uh, you know, for the betterment of the citizens will be siphoned and shared within few political elites, as they call themselves. And you want people to be happy for you? You want people to be clapping for you? You want them to be happy because Anne Tugi, your excellency. In a you in a buga naga naga everywhere with one thousand escorts with with, with AK forty seven rifle. And you think that is going to last forever. You think you are not going to be you know sent to judgment one day because you are your excellency. Stupid people everywhere, very greedy people. That's why I don't pity them. That is the reason why I never pity any of them, no matter where they come from. Some people say, eh, he was, uh, he, you know, killing themselves. It doesn't matter where they come from. If you for joy, or you for joy. Anybody who is not against these thieves, in the name of politicians, in the zoo, 
if either you are benefiting from them or you have benefited from them in the past or maybe you are, aspi you are aspiring to be one in the future. That is the only way you can support the criminalities of these evil politicians in our land. That's why. Or else, tell me any reason why you can support this evil man. Who is that just name one politician that has bettered the lives of the citizens in the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom? Thank you, my people. Tosalo Numozia and make it go viral.